great game on the menu tonight, folks, between the Tulsa Hurricane and the Houston Cougars. Number three is a key component to this basketball franchise. He brings them a lot with his abilities, and he'll be looking to showcase those in today's game. This kid's fantastic at finding a high percentage shot and making them count, Brad. The Cougars will have to utilize his skill to the fullest potential, Dick. The Cougars are looking to make this one a blowout early. What are the keys for him tonight, Dick? Yeah, on a night like this, the keys are pretty simple, Brad. First of all, be strong with the ball. Turnovers can be the story here tonight, so protect that basketball. Next, grab the boards, baby. Make it a habit. And lastly, make your team think defense first. Solid defense will lead to good offense. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court, and we'll see how this one plays out. Both teams looking to get things going here. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. He'll regroup the offense. Great defensive play. Anticipated well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Easy one. Green. There's a slam. He's a high riser. He's the elevator man up, up and away. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. The small forward takes the pass, knocks it down. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Inside. Pushing that basketball. Will take the shot. Way off target. The point guard takes the feed. Shows patience waiting for the reset. Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribbler. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. And up. Perfectly executed. The student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explode. They look like they're having a blast. Inside. He goes up strong, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Oh, great call by the official. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. Fed the low block. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. They're working around the perimeter. He tries the three. Houston are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together here. They're really starting to flip on offense. Now they work it around the perimeter. Trying to pack it inside. There's a double team waiting there. He lets it go. Off the rim and no good. Had a momentary look from three-point land. Dickey simply on fire. Hey, call the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. Went away from the post and goes the other way. He's got some room. From right in the circle, buried it. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. This may be a good opportunity for them, Brad. Puts it up, looking for contact. Tickles a twine. Looking for a good shot. Postel is receiving great praise from the fans. The people here really appreciate what he brings to the table. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. 
It's not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. I tell you, just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. That's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. They just have to focus, Brad. That's most important, mental toughness. For the bucket, Houston have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Up and inside. Fields is emotionally pumped up. I love seeing players play with emotion and passion. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Nice high post screen. There he is, strips the ball loose. The point guard gets the pass. And the ball goes out of bounds. Great anticipation defensively. The pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. The shooting guard with the ball. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. I'll tell you, a great job protecting the basketball, getting deep post position, and the jump hook is so effective. There they come with a double team to stop it. Look at that drive. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. A little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. He fakes the shot. Good fake. Jump hook from the low post. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. They work it around the perimeter, and the fans are going wild. Oh, I couldn't agree with you more, Mr. Nestler. We are so lucky that we get to go to all these schools and experience the mayhem first thing. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Goes up for two. Houston are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Cross court. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> the power forward gets the ball. From way outside. That is a dagger in the heart, that shot, Dick. Hey, they lost focus here. They need a timeout to regroup, Brad. On the top of the circle. Shot didn't fall in, but it was a great use of the screen. Here's a double team. There's a steal. Stolen away. Turnover. Great job knocking the ball loose, then chasing it down. Gave it up. Entry pass in the paint for two. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. He throws it up from downtown. He hits it. On the outside. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Stolen.
tries to turn. The defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Controlling the ball. Another turnover. And they're not talking apple turnovers either. He went for the steal in the post, and he missed it, Dick. Oh, I'll tell you one thing. What a poor job defensively. He gambled. Houston have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. For that reason, right there, that's why I love college basketball. Wow, the energy in here is electrifying. Stolen away. What a speed. I'll tell you, man, there's nothing like having athleticism and quickness. I'll tell you, Brad, what a breakdown defensively. Moving it around the perimeter. Right in the circle. Gets it to fall. Tries for two. And he missed. And he scores despite the hat. They'll work it around the arc. On the dribble, gives it up. Looking for the foul. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Both teams are looking to get something going here. For the bucket. Great job of running the defender into the screen for a nice jam. And a momentary look from three-point land. Goes up for two. With plays like that, you need instant replay. it over. There should be an easy bucket here. Field pounded on his way up. The Golden Hurricanes have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. What a great play. Check him out, Nick. He's taunting the crowd. You've got that right, Brad. He goes to the line for the first time. Sinks it. Takes the pass in the paint for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it clearly down here. The coach is stressing, go inside, go inside. They've been affected all night long that way. What an asset to have, guys. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. They work it around the perimeter. How can you not love this game and the hoopla and fanfare that goes along with it? This place is rocking and rolling, baby. I think they're trying to make a statement. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. The Cougars will step to the line for the first time. He can't get one to fall. Gets it. First half update again, Dick Vitale, in your opinion, our focus player, what do you think he's doing so far? Hey, where's his mental concentration? Where's his focus? I don't see it, Brad. I don't know. This guy better get in two. Dump it inside. Tries for two. And in and out. Double team now, bad angle. Oh, what a strip, Brad. He goes for the aggressive steal from the tight defense. You got to be careful when you go for an aggressive steal like that, Brad. If you miss, you could be in trouble. 
Gave it up. On the dribble, gives it up. Defensively down on the low block, and there's a steal. A uh, terrific job anticipating, reading the offense, and making that steal. Here's a flash from the post up high. He shoots from the baseline. He gets another one to go. This is a shooting clinic, my friend. The Golden Hurricanes have a mismatch in the post. You're right, Brad. There is a mismatch. Defense forces a five-second call. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. Number 42 with the fake. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Gave it up. They work it around the perimeter from three-point territory. Tulsa is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. Look at that spacing. He fires from long range. Way off target. On the outside. There's a double team waiting there. He puts up the three ball. They're nailing three balls at will right now. They're really hurting them with the three-point shooting. Defensively, low block. Oh, nice job fronting it for the steal. Uh, terrific job creating the opportunity. And it really converts an offensive transition. Picked out of the air. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to go. Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chills. Hey, pandemonium is in full effect. Here they come with a double team to stop it. Defense giving some room. Looks at the three. Sinks it. Hey, this crowd will be ecstatic if they can get a basket. Goes out of play. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. In the paint. Executes the baby hook. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this shows it at the start, Brad. On the dribble, gives it up. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. And the frustration right there. On the outside, gave it up. On the inside. What a great steal. Defensive player was really right on top of that basketball. He puts it up. It sticks. The work 
it around the arc. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Problem with that, when you're front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. He looks at the hoop. Takes away the pass. For two. That's good. Looking for a good shot. He looks for three. Way off target. Trying to draw some contact. Listen to the crowd. You can cut the intensity with a knife. You're right. The student sections, the band, and the crowd are always urging their team to victory like a sixth man. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Get that sucker out of the game, man. A high screen. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Basket falls despite the contact. Here's a double team. And one too many dribbles and a steal. He's got an open look for the shot. Three. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Dick, about a medium-sized crowd tonight. I'll tell you one thing. You don't get a big edge as a home team. Looking to move it around the perimeter. There's the trap. Steals the ball. Shot clock is dead. Tries for two. Dick, it's really been a while since I've seen a team shoot like this. Hey, every once in a while, you'll get a squad that gets on a tear and simply makes your jaw drop. It's fun to watch, isn't it, Brad? They're working around the perimeter. Go to game really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. That one's off. At halftime, the Hurricanes are down by eight. We've had a very tight contest tonight, Dick. What's your highlight of the half? I think the kind of highlight that only a coach can love, Brad. His team working the ball down low to their big man, putting inside basket. The teams are just about ready to start the second half, Dick. Let's see how this one unfolds. Houston did a heck of a job shooting that ball in the first half. I mean, no doubt about it. These boys have given too much time to shoot. If you ask me, they basically have time to wait and get a good shot. The defense was non-existent, Mr. Nestler. Dick started the second half. We take a look at our focus player, and he's going to have to be the man to come through. Well, I think he's got to attack the basket a lot more. I think he's got to get opportunities to go to the free throw line, and that'll come if he becomes aggressive. They've got a player spotting up on the three. Jumped in front to take it away. Had a momentary look from three-point land. From the top of the key. Off the rim and no good.
Fake. The fake. Jump hook from the low block. The Cougars have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Too physical. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside-outside action always works. Nice fake. For the bucket. Up. Easy one. Take a look at this. Count that as a personal foul. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. On the dribble, gives it up. Up and inside. Looking for a good shot. He takes a three, gets it to go. The pressure's getting to him, Brad. Isolated on the outside, they work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. He strokes it way off target. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. He shoots from the top of the circle. Buried it. Time to pick up the defense here now. Dump it inside. Gave it up. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. Off the rim and no good. He gets the bucket. Sets the screen for his teammate. Great play to take that to the basket. On the outside with the fake. He takes the shot from the baseline. The Golden Hurricanes have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. Definitely a foul. We thought this game would be a sellout, Dick, and it's not. I tell you, a lot of empty seats here. It's only half full. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Working it around the perimeter. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I tell you, did a great job creating a good angle, too. When he goes up and under, he seals off the defensive player. Look at the student section, Dick, cheering on their classmates, their peers. If you ask any coach or player, I'm sure they'll say that the student section is the best. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. On the outside, shots there if he wants it. For two, in and out. On 
on the dribble, gives it up with a jump hook. I tell you, didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position, and then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. There's a double team waiting there. Taken away. Nothing gonna come easy tonight, baby. They are really playing for keeps. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. paint ball comes back out from the post i tell you brad you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man picks off the lazy pass double team now that angle he shoots from downtown way off target trying to draw the foul Looking to move it around the perimeter. There they come with a double team to stop it. Fakes it. Jump hook from the low post. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. Steals a pass. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Gave it up for the bucket. Houston have a nice little run going here. Can they keep it up though? No one's proven otherwise just yet, Brad. They strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there, baby. Oh, yes. it inside and he tries a drop step defensively nice job oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot try to come up with a steal and they do and a chance to make it a three-point play yeah good second effort to stay with him right there did a great job attacking the defense <laughs> he'll visit the charity strike there's a reason they're called free throws. Goes up for two. Drops the bucket despite the harm. They scored eight in a row. They work it around the perimeter. In the paint. Ooh, look at the shot block. They got some contact. Nice hops. They've got a shooter spotting up on the three-point line. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. Not getting great looks in terms of perimeter threes. Defense really extended on that perimeter line. That was nice. That's an 11 zip run. we go that spin moves not gonna work against this defense that's a no-no baby defensive player beats him to the spot on the dribble gives it up that was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane. 
Anticipated really well. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Intercepted for two. He's doing a terrible job of distributing the ball. They may have to pull him out and let somebody else out there and let him think about it for a while. He intercepts it. And again, they look to run. They work the perimeter. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job on a defensive player. He's winning the battle on the interior because he's beating him to the spot. We've got a very lopsided effort here tonight, Dick. There's absolutely no doubt who the superior team has been tonight. Up and inside. Pull-up jumper from way out. Drains it. He shoots from right of the circle, way off target. Picks off the pass. And a momentary look from three-point land. High post player flashing from beyond the arc. I'm not sure that's who you want shooting the three. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the blocked shot. The student section is all rallied up, and they are ready to battle. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. Line. Sinks the shot. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. He shoots from the top of the key. He gets it to fall. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. They'll work it around the arc. He shoots from the angle. He can't get the hoop to fall. Picked off. Tries for two. Up. Easy one. Check in third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Guys, this is not the start he wanted tonight. He is his team's marquee performer, and his slow start could be a recipe for disaster. We'll have to see how his teammates respond to all this, and we'll continue to monitor it from the sideline. Brad? On the outside. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to drop. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job of post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Picked out of the air. Looking for contact. That's good. Comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. They work it around the perimeter. Here's a double team. He draws a foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. What well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. He goes to the free throw line. First shot, good.
He gets them both. Goes up for two. Yes! The Cougars lead by 11. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. This whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so is the defense, and they do a nice job. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. They're making a living right now at the three-point line. Let's see if they can keep this up for the remainder of the game. Steals the pass. He nails the shot. That's eight on answer. Looking for a good shot. Picks off the lazy pass. Turnaround jumper. And he missed. There's the trap. He comes away with it. The power forward gets the ball. Coach looks on, focused, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Dickey's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Working it around the perimeter. Takes away the pass. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Boy, it's so important when you're getting points off turnovers. And look at that stat. I'll tell you one thing. Coaches go nuts. If that stat's negative, it absolutely makes you lose here. And you get balled like I am. Hits that one. Tulsa are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, that'll keep pushing and seeing if they can force a timeout. He sinks both of them. They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. The Cougars have got to continue to get in the ball. They need to keep getting in the ball. It's simple. They work the perimeter. That'll take some pride on the defensive end. Number three has got the fans roaring and applauding. The fans know exactly how much he has done for this program. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. Picks off the pass. Reject it out of there. Nice block shot. Sinks it. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal them off.
Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Picked off. Blocks the shot. Looking for a good shot. And now they'll bring it up. Looks at a three. No good. And a momentary look from three-point land. From three-point range. Tulsa are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. I get a feeling they've changed things up a little bit, Dick. We'll see what they come up with, Brad. That brings the lead to eight points, Dick. But eight points doesn't secure a win at this point, Brad. Launches the three. Off the rim and no good. Great defense. Tries for two. Easy one. Looking for a good shot. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. The shooting guard handles the pass. There's a double team waiting there. I got to be sure they'll continue to look to foul here, Nick. Now it's matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to be able to get to that winner's circle. Foul, and that stops the clock again. Hey, now it's a matter of clock management, Brad. They have to foul in order to get back in this game. Well, Dick, what's the backcourt situation looking like to you? I'll tell you, Brad, guard play is such a huge part of the college game. Can't win without great guard play. Backcourt play dictates your team's success. Their play must be steady, consistent. Control of the tempo in a game, distributing the ball, scoring, and pressuring on a defensive end. They are all characteristics of having a solid tandem in a perimeter. Lots of rim, but not in. These kids are really struggling from the free throw line tonight. I hope they can turn it around before it costs them the game. Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. Gets the second shot. Time out on the floor. We'll have a little break in the action here, partner, while both teams talk it over. Do you think they switch things around here for the moment, Dick? I don't think so, but we'll wait to see, Brad. College basketball is special to me for that reason right there, Dick. The Rutgers fans are going nuts. They're going bananas, Brad. Pushes it up. Dunn receives the pass. The ball goes out of bounds. Sometimes a stat that gets lost, Dick, turnovers, and that can kill you in a ball game. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team's performance. If you give teams easy baskets, you got no shot to win.
Goes for the deep one. Off the rim and no good. The point guard gets the pass. Our focus player update our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. Well, I'll tell you, nine out of ten times, if the focus player plays well, you're going to get to the winner's circle. Houston played well against a good team tonight for the win. They came in the favorites, and they did not disappoint. That's going to do it for us, folks. Thanks for being along. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler.